Downloading editable vector data is super easy using the OpenStreetMap services, OSM. In this video, I'll show you how to get point of interest data, area of interest, road networks, buildings, and similar network maps. I'll also show you how you can import these files easily into QGIS application. If you are new here, feel free to join my subscribers who enjoy such helpful tips and let's get right to it. The website to be used is OSMOpenStreetMap.org. On your search tab, you can easily type OSM exports. Probably the first link on the results will be it, and it leads you straight to the site for download. If you want to search directly for a location, you can use the search tab here. Let's see, Lagos, Nigeria. If you have a specific location, you can choose to zoom in using your trackpad or the buttons on the sidebar you can zoom in or zoom out when satisfied you can if you are creating if you want a map to show directions or directions from one point to the other you can use this button here to search for directions you see from to and you can easily find directions if you want a map of your current location then you can use this to show your location if you just want to share the map directly from osm here you can use this share button you can also try out other features and play around with it but when you are satisfied with this you click on export if you have specific coordinates of the location which you want, then you can edit it here as these coordinates show the boundaries of the given map here. I don't have such, so I'll export and it automatically downloads it in OSM format. So let's confirm the downloads. This is it. So on QGIS application, you can create a new project or you import it into an existing one. Click on the data source management, open data source management manager. If you don't see it on your tool tab here, right click and you will see the data source manager toolbar. Make sure it's checked out open set it on vector mine is on vector set it on vector click on file and browse you click on the map you want to import and open you click on add it shows you the different um layers it's different shape files that are stored in that data you can decide to select all or select the ones particular ones which you want let's add all layers oh i added them to times Cancel. Let's limit the confusion here. But this is it. If you, if your intention was to get the road networks of this location, all you simply do is turn off the other layers which you don't want. Turn off the other layers. And you have the road network of any location which you need for your um, analysis if it's 
for similar data if it's for the building data then you have this and you can play around with what you find here to download country data for a whole country or a whole state with counties or local governments shown in between check the description of this video there will be a link for an already made video which you can easily apply thanks for watching and see you in the next video